Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to create and schedule your first post. From your dashboard, click on the green New Post button at the top right of the screen and then select the calendar in which you want to create your post. You will then be taken to Loomly's Post Builder. If you are already inside one of your calendars, clicking on New Post will automatically launch the Post Builder. You'll then be guided through creating a social media post so you can schedule content to one or more platforms within minutes. Starting your post from a blank page can be overwhelming, especially if you need to create a week or a month's worth of content quickly. This is why we provide a variety of post ideas to inspire you. These ideas are pulled from RSS feeds, hundreds of date-related events and holidays, social media best practices, custom post ideas based on your audience's interests, and trending topics from X, formerly known as Twitter. In this first panel, you'll be able to define your base content. Set a generic date and time that your post will be published to on all selected channels. Please note that you can modify the date and time for specific channels in the next fine tuning step. To save even more time when creating new posts, take advantage of Loomly's scheduling slots feature to set your preferred publishing schedule in advance for when your audience is most active. Then, write a subject to easily identify your post internally within Loomly. For example, Cyber Monday Post 1. Add labels to categorize your post for campaign tracking, including filtering post performance and metrics in advanced analytics. Select the social media icons of the channels you want to publish your post to. You can also use Loomly's custom channel feature to create and collaborate on content for any platforms that are not natively supported in Loomly. Since you can only connect one social account of each platform to a calendar, you can easily clone your posts to multiple calendars at the same time if you are managing social accounts for a multi-location franchise or businesses that post similar content. Next up is to add your generic copy, which you will be able to customize in the next step. If you're using hashtags as a part of your strategy, open the hashtag manager to view hashtag suggestions based on the copy of your post, discover trending hashtags, and manage your own hashtag collections. You can also add UTM parameters to your links to track the performance of your content, plus take advantage of Loomly's URL shortener, loom.ly, to keep captions clean. As an added bonus, loom.ly URLs let you see link metrics such as clicks, sources, and locations in advanced analytics. Now it's time to attach media files such as images, videos, and PDF files. You can do so in a few different ways. Add from your Loomly library, including any designs exported from Canva, upload directly from your device, share from a URL, choose from millions of royalty-free images and GIFs from Unsplash and Giphy, and import from Google Drive. If you need to tune up your visuals, such as making adjustments to the brightness, contrast, saturation, or focus, you can do so with Loomly Studio. You can also add metadata details, such as alt text, that will apply to all supported channels. Once you have your base copy and media, it's time to optimize content for each channel to meet technical considerations, community best practices, and audience expectations by moving on to the fine tuning panel. In the fine tuning panel, you can preview and customize your post for each social media channel. For instance, if you are publishing the post to Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, you may want to specify which type of post will be shared on Facebook and change the published date and time, tag products, add collaborators, and include a first comment for Instagram, make the copy a bit more formal for LinkedIn. Plus, if you need to edit or resize your images and videos to match each social channel's specifications, we recommend doing so in the fine-tuning step using Loomly Studio to crop using custom or popular crop ratios, trim videos, add text and overlays to your images, which is helpful when posting stories. If you need extra guidance, check out our post optimization tips to see how you can improve copy length, timing, and readability to ensure that your posts are formatted to best suit your audience on each channel.
To reach a wider audience and boost the reach of your content, you can use Loomly's targeting and post sponsoring capabilities for supported channels. For example, with Facebook, you can set a preferred audience to organically target who you would like to reach in Facebook's newsfeed, determine audience restrictions to limit who will be able to see your post, and promote your post with Facebook ads using post sponsoring. For LinkedIn, you can organically target followers for company pages and boost your posts with post sponsoring. And you can create Instagram ads by boosting your posts to specific audiences using demographics, interests, and behaviors. As you update your post, you'll be able to see live previews of your changes. For Instagram, you can also preview the grid for both posts and reels. Once you're happy with the post you created, you can save it as a draft submit it for approval, schedule it for a specific date in the future, or publish it immediately. Once you've selected an option, you'll be taken to post view to preview your content and collaborate with others by assigning for approval and leaving comments. Another way to create posts in Loomly is to start from calendar view. Select a date and either choose Quick Post if you want a content placeholder for the future, or launch Post Builder by clicking on Build Post. You can also create posts from Loomly's library. Access the library by clicking on the book icon in your calendar's toolbar. Loomly's library offers the following. Upload images or videos from your device. Add images from Unsplash or Google Drive. Access designs that you created in Canva and then exported to Loomly using our integration. Store brainstorming ideas for later use by creating notes to save copy or links. Set up post templates whenever you have content that you want to reuse. This is helpful when you have an idea for a post but aren't sure when to publish it, or if you need a boilerplate for recurring posts with slight updates such as store hours or sales information. Finally, you can create video slideshows from still images in your library. And that's it! You should be ready to create your first calendar with Loomly. Log into your dashboard now! If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team either through chat or via email at contact at Thanks for watching this tutorial. 